No football team is a whole lot better than its offensive line coach. These guys don't get a whole lot of publicity, but they deserve it. We're going to talk to a couple of them today. Well, they're both outstanding leaders. Kevin Donnelly, one of the dominant offensive linemen in the country right now. We're very proud of Kevin, also an academic All-American. And he's a great student. He's played guard. He's played center. He's really been a stronghold at guard uh, since the first of the year. Very proud of both young men. Andy Dinkin and Kevin Donnelly, I might small talk to them, and you'll see it today brought to you by Eckert. If the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, then you've got to figure the path to playing time as an offensive lineman would begin with a trip to the supermarket. Okay. Kevin Donnelly and Andy Dinkin are roommates and offensive linemen on Carolina's football team. So logically, you'd figure there'd be quite a bit of food passing through their apartment. But as Donnelly explains, you can't just buy anything. You know, a lot of people, when they're picking out their fruits and vegetables, poke, prod, thump, do whatever they can to see if it's ripe or not. I have a special technique. I smell it. It smells slightly sweet, but I know it's ready and ripe, ready to eat. Mmm, -hmm. real good. But Dinkin has a different approach. Don't get me wrong, I'm very nutritious conscious, just like Kevin. But I also believe in making my meals quick and easy. Shopping needs to be quick and easy as well. I'm all set for the week. With the food situation settled, let's head back to the apartment and examine what life is like for these two as roommates. And rumor has it, Kevin Donnelly as well, a bit of a neat freak. Funny, golden, I'm the good. Look, man, I just cleaned the kitchen about an hour ago. Look what you've done now. Chill out, Mr. Clean. I'm just making some noodles. And I know, noodles. but you spazzed out. Look at the mess you made. No one has to be that messy making something. I'm a little sloppy, but it's all going down the same tube anyway. I'll clean it up. Don't worry. Gosh. He's taught me a lot about organization and being neat. Not, not that I haven't always been a neat person, but Kevin is uh, excessively clean, and I think he really enjoys seeing the, uh, the carpet marks when he vacuums. I think that's a big, big turn-on for him. Donnelly says that while he spends his time cleaning up, Dinkin likes to spend his time reaching out and touching someone. I, every time the phone rings, you can about 90% chance it's for Andy Dinkin. He's got more people calling him. He's calling people. You know, if anything happens major in his life, he comes back and sends out about ten calls. Mother, father, brothers, you know, everybody. He's got to know this. He's got friends all over the place, all over campus. And it's just, uh, when we come home to the apartment after practice or a long day, you can bet that answer machine's bleeping with a message on it. And there, it's going to be for Andy Dinkin. But when it comes down to football, Dinkin and Donnelly are very serious. Donnelly's an All-American candidate at left tackle while Dinkin has exceeded expectations at right guard. It's hard for fans to know how an offensive lineman is playing during a game until he messes up. But here in the film room, the coaches get an accurate reading of their talent. In my 20 years of coaching, Kevin Donnelly would really rank as the number one tackle that I've coached. I mean, the things that Kevin do that make him stand head and shoulders above the other people, the fact that, first of all, he has great balance, he has the uh, real outstanding size, and also he's a student of the game. He very rarely, if ever, makes a mistake. And he is... is as hard a working football player as we have and it's very important to him and uh, he works hard every day he goes out there the rest of them see this and they work hard at it too because of uh, Andy's work habits and Andy's leadership enjoyed hearing from Kevin Donnelly and Andy Dinkin and now we look back our flash from the past is former North Carolina All-American Art Weiner who teamed up with Charlie Justice in the late 40s to give Carolina some great football teams Brought to you today by Red Roof Inn. Art Weiner was an All-American receiver on those North Carolina football teams of the late 1940s that featured Charlie Justice. And that Weiner-Justice friendship has not only endured, but has grown over the years. He, matter of fact, we're probably better friends now than we were in school. And uh, I've been in business with Charlie, and, and that worked out real well. And our wives are real good friends, and... I think he's just a great guy. Weiner and his son own a travel agency in Greensboro, and Art and his wife spend a lot of their time now traveling. So we'll take a trip about once, twice every month, and uh, I think I mentioned to you we're going to Japan in October, and we're going to stay a month over there. And we've, we've been on 15 cruises now. We love the cruise, and that's, that's a great way to travel, and it's a good value for the, for the money, and 
And we've been all over the world on different cruise ships. That's a lot of fun. I'd highly recommend it to you. We're going to come back on the Mac Brown Show and talk about next week's game against Maryland. And Coach Brown might have a couple of other observations about the tie with Georgia Tech. After this, from First Union.